hello! I have something very exciting and fun to share with you guys today. This is a readathon announcement, and no, it's not Tom Topple, although Tom Topple is coming like in the springtime probably, and we're gonna have merch, so just letting you know. But this is a new readathon that Matthew Sharapa and I are doing uh, that has been probably like years in the making, and if you guys have ever paid attention to our friendship at all on Twitter or anything. Um, you might know the theme of this and you obviously know from the title, so I don't know why I'm dragging it out. I'm here to announce a shift-a-thon. Now I know this isn't necessarily groundbreaking, but this is something that Matthew and I have decided that we finally need to do because Matthew and I have bonded over our love of kind of trashy urban fantasy novels. He and I both, uh, I don't know if he grew up with them as much as I did, but we both really loved the Anita Blake series by Laurel K. Hamilton, which is an urban fantasy series I've talked about a lot on my channel over the years, but I haven't read since starting my channel. Uh, they're just so firmly planted in my head um, from the years that I read them and reread them. I've mentioned before, but while all of you are reading Harry Potter, or well, most people, I know not all of you are doing it, but while a lot of people were doing that and rereading it over and over, I was rereading these books over and over. So him and I have been saying for years that we should do like a read along or whatever, we decided to do a readathon uh, so that people don't get just pigeonholed into only Anita Blake, but I've been meaning to read more urban fantasy because it's candy to me. Urban fantasy is my trash, uh, and there's plenty of good stuff too, but like there's certain tropes, like the genre has its problems, and I just want to enjoy it. So this readathon, it's all camp. We're leaning into the ridiculousness of this, and we're also making it super fun. So we have some prompts. It's a week-long readathon. I don't know if we're gonna do reading sprints because it's just him and I, and personally, I kind of like hate running reading sprints. I'm fine participating in them. Um, but if you know me from Tom Topple, I don't like running reading sprints. Um, and I just want to like enjoy and have fun. Um, so we have a couple things. We have the Shiftathon Twitter, which if we do run reading sprints, they will be on there. It will probably be Matthew running them, but maybe, maybe I will run them too. I just don't want to make any promises. We have all of the like the camp over there, and we have like the prompts and stuff, and any kind of announcements about the readathon will be posted over there. We're starting this readathon, this is Matthew's idea, on the full moon on February 16th, and it's going for a week, seven days. And we have five prompts, so you can choose to do all the prompts or you cannot. It's totally up to you. You can read all books from the same series if you want to. Like there's no rules besides it just need to be like an urban fantasy or even like a paranormal romance. Like so much urban fantasy and paranormal romance like bleeds together. So any of those urban fantasy, they, they count, okay? Have fun. Mass market paperbacks all over. So our first prompt is a book featuring shifters other than werewolves this is very popular. Like none of these prompts are gonna be limiting you a ton. Uh, this is, th th you can find plenty of those. Oh, and all of the books you read only count for one prompt because we only have five prompts. Some books, some urban fantasy books and paranormal romance books could like cover all of these prompts. So you could have one book that technically covers all of them. So we don't want that to happen. So if you're using the prompts, one book per prompt, but otherwise have at it. The second prompt is to read a book with vampires. The third is to read a book with fae or elves, since there's a lot of crossover there. The fourth prompt is to read a book with a paranormal creature that's from a religion, and that can be any religion. So angels, jinn, demons, golems, any kind of like creature from any folklore mythology, like that would count. And then the fifth prompt is to read a book with zombies or ghosts, fun. Fun, right? Like I said, it's camp. Lean into it. So for me, I have decided that I'm going to continue, try to continue a couple series. I think for a week, the most I could probably read is like three books. And so I might swap this out when it gets a little bit closer. Um, I'm planning on getting books for my library, like on Kindle. I don't know. Urban fantasy is so easy for me to read that I feel like I could really fly through, through some things. So what I'm going to do in the spirit is I do want to read an Anita Blake book. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to restart the series because the thing is, is that I'm, I want to start a couple of series here during this time, or maybe only one, but whatever. And the first book in an urban fantasy series tends to not be good. So I don't want to just like read a bunch of first books in urban fantasy series because then I'll probably get in a book slump and be angry. So I think I'm going to read the fifth book, I want to say, in the Anita Blake series because I've read them all so many times that I don't need to start at the beginning. And I feel like this is when it starts to get fun. If you're reading it for the first time, I recommend you start from the beginning. Don't do this just because I'm doing it. I've just read them so many times that I can do this. Oh no, I actually think I'm going to read the fourth book, which is Lunatic Cafe, I think. So there's a chance that I could just read this whole series like read a bunch of these honestly like i'm not planning on doing that but i might if i'm like in the mood for it and this series features shifters that aren't werewolves fae vampires ghosts zombies i think almost everything and oh and eventually there's like is there gin and stuff would there be angel 
It might not have the supernatural creature from a religion, but somewhere it probably does. So I could read the whole series and have each book count for a different prompt. I mean, not the whole series because there's like 22 books in the series, but I could read five of them technically, but I'm not going to, I don't plan to. So I'm gonna reread Lunatic Cafe and then see if I wanna like keep going from there. Then I think I'm gonna continue with the Fever series by Karen Marie Monning. Um, the second book is Blood Fever. So I've already read the first book, Dark Fever. The second book I think is Blood Fever. Um, so I'm gonna read that. And that would be a book with Faye. I think they also have vampires probably. I'm not sure though. Then I said I wanted to start a new series, but I think I might just use this to continue. I'm gonna pick one that if I wanna start a new series, I will, but I don't know if I'm going to. Because I also wanna continue with the Shifter series by Rachel Vincent. I loved the first book of the Shifter series, like five stars the year that I read it. And I didn't like the second book so much. I don't think I have to go back and reread any because I think I remember enough to just read like a synopsis or like a summary of the first book or two books. But the third book I believe is Pride. Um, and a lot of people say that like that's when it starts getting like really good because the second book stumbles a bit. Um, and this is Werecats. So again, I can do shifters. Um, I don't know if there's, is there vampires and stuff? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, I forget. But yeah, I can see myself continuing with that. So, okay, so that's three series. Like, so could I read four books in a week? Ooh, that's rough. I don't know. The nice thing about urban fantasy books though is they tend to be kind of short. I don't know, three I think is like maybe my limit though. That's what I'm gonna for sure do. And then if I want to start a new urban fantasy series, I might start Kate Daniels. That's the one that I was thinking of doing. I might start Kate Daniels Part of me also is considering like a Dresden Files or something, but I think I want to do Kate Daniels. Um, so if I start a series, I think I'm gonna start Kate Daniels, but also feel free to recommend me some of the comments. Um, I, I tend to like most urban fantasies. I like shifters. I like vampires a lot. Um, yes, but I want them to be all kind of like slightly different the way that all the series I'm continuing kind of are. Um, although a lot of them have like the same tropes and the same problems. Let me tell you, <laughs> problems, it's camp. It's camp, but I will be talking about the problems in these series when I do wrap them up. And I will also probably be doing a vlog. Let me know if you guys wanna see a vlog in um, February for this readathon because there's gonna be reactions. But yeah, that's my TBR. Those are the prompts. Starting on the 16th on the full moon. Lovely. Um, follow us on Twitter just for like updates, prompt stuff, um, when we do future rounds, we're probably gonna do more of this, um, any of that, if we do do some like reading sprints and stuff. Comment below, let me know if you'll be participating. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.